Currently, Bickford Smith is a book designer. Her legendary designs adorn many a Penguin classic. The Fox and the Star is her first book in her own right. And it's deservedly won the Waterstones Book of the Year. It's a beautifully designed book that's been put together with a great deal of thought and attention to detail. It's the sort of book that you'll not only enjoy now, but will be put away and passed down to future generations. Once there was a fox who lived in a deep, dense forest. Can you see him? I don't know. There he is. Because Fox was small and the trees reached far higher than the tips of his ears, he was timid and afraid to stray far from his den. And yet, for as long as Fox could remember, he would wake at night to the cool, calm light of star. As well as being beautifully realised, Fox is a character whose sadness can be identified with by anyone. Whether it's the loss of a loved one, the end of a relationship, or just the difficulties of being five years old. In the days that followed, Fox dreamt that Star would return, but the darkness grew closer, and without Star there was no reason to go outside. Worried and lonely, he huddled in his den. Days and nights passed in silence until something stirred in the forest. The beetles were on the move, creeping and crawling to where Fox lay. Closer and closer the beetles came, seeking... Where are the beetles? It's a good question. You see them in the next picture, I think. Closer and closer the beetles came, seeking the still body of Fox in the belly of his den. There they are. The smell of a thousand beetles ignited Fox's hunger. He faced the darkness and feasted on the tasty beetles. Do you think you'd like beetles? Yeah. Do you want beetles for tea tomorrow? No. <laughs> and he felt much better. Well, I like beetles on my fingers. That's true. Ultimately, the book's message is uplifting. It's okay to feel sad. But look up and move forward, and the sadness will pass, and you'll still have your memories. Hello, Lucky. Hello, I'm Lucky. You are Lucky, aren't you?